In this video I'm going to explain you how to clean scans and I'm using that example that I did before in the laser scanning. Um, it doesn't make a difference if you are talking about laser scans or rapid scan results, it's the same. Really the download the latest version for this is much much better than the last one and it's a big progress. So here you have a new bar of additional functions that they were not available before and uh, other guys who are already experienced scanners from Artec or Creaform they will know some of the tools but yeah they have paid more money for them right now they are free of charge in your Einscan software and maybe unnecessary to mention but for all the people who are new working with Einscan and Shining devices software is free of charge you can license it on different PCs without paying extra so Let's come back to the topic we want to talk about clean scans. You have right now the side view of the part that I was showing before and that I scanned before for you to explain how to scan. Here is the toolkits and I'm start to use for example right angular. Right angular means it's the shape of the selection tool that you have. You have to click on the shift button. You will see right now that your cursor is changing to some new symbol keep the shift button pushed, if not it will stop, push the shift button, it will be. Right now you can with the left mouse button pushed, open some right angular surfaces and mm, you can create some selection. Right now you have selected some area and you can for example um, delete it, that's it. I'm not going to delete it because it's just for showing you what is possible. You can use as well polygon um, surrounded areas to be processed. So you are using polygon, click on the shift button, you see that polygon is activated. Right now you don't have to keep the left mouse button, let's say pushed. You are just clicking points of some surface that you want to use for editing in this case I deleted that so okay undo it there is some circle I think this is quite what it had been before I think it's a really cool tool you keep pushed again the shift button and you can open some area by keep the left mouse button pushed and surrounding the shape of what you want to to mark and uh, yeah delete maybe but this is not all right now there is a like a paintbrush you are able to brush some areas and the area that you want to brush can be variated by scrolling with the with the mouse wheel everything what is possible is explained in detail below in the toolbar so don't worry if you will forget about some details you will be able to do it later on as I'm not going to to delete it right now, just want to show you what is possible. I'm going to unselect. That means unselect all. Um, I can as well select all at the same time. But this is quite clear what it means. I'm going to deselect it again. And there is some other things that's quite cool. I can, for example, create some fragment by deleting some error right now I have two point clouds that are separate from each other and not connected and um, in this case I could as well select domain but I'm not sure why it's not activated okay I have to first select something so I have right now here, I can make it bigger. I have selected some area and um, connect domain is, you are going to mark everything that have, uh, let's say some triangular connection to the area that you have connected. So I'm going to click on there. There is analysis done and you see everything that was in the same patch of the surface that I scanned is right now selected. 
it wasn't so visible without zooming in but they are not connected to both of them so I can just process that one that is connected and delete it for example what is really cool because I can have some area that uh, is annoying me and just it is out of the view and I can really easily select it and, and delete it as well uh, there is a revert function what it means maybe I'm going to explain you in, in a way how I sometimes work if I have environment to to delete so here I have quite a lot of it I'm going to use it as circle I'm just going to circle around that area that I want to keep in that case and you will ask why keep you are marking it as it like you are want to delete it no I'm not okay, for me it's maybe much easier to to select the area that I want to keep than to select all the area that I want to delete and I'm just going to revert that means I'm going to invert the selection everything that's selected right now will be unselected and what is right now unselected will be selected so like this I was easily getting rid of a lot of details that I had before and uh, yeah I could right now go here and with some right angular function maybe it's easier for not position it too much to delete it in the traditional way and I have cleaned it right now as I have that information uh, as well available in other views it's not a problem that I will delete part of what is uh, the part later on so yeah just to show you I'm not going to go further I just don't want to apply all the changes because for me it's not important to finish here it's for me important to show you what is possible as well already um, available in the last version is the cutting plane the cutting plane is um, some base plane <coughs> that is um, there but you want to get rid of it it can be the turntables can be as well your your table where you are scanning and I just want to get rid of this table for example and um, there is different possibilities in how I can marker that or I can define what is the base plane fitting point in the cloud that means I'm going to select something and the system is going to use that area to interpolate a plane so there is a lot of points there will be a plane created through that points and its best fit for example how this is connected and um, in this case as everything is flat it's quite useful I can go there and um, I can shift the cutting plane over the button but as well I'm able to just drag and drop with the left mouse button keep it pushed this is a very comfortable way to delete it delete just sorry this is important to keep in mind if I delete plane the plane will disappear um, invert is clear there it will be deleted the other side of the plane I just want to leave the plane like it is go to apply and it's gone everything what is below there and was marked I think mm, it's a bit tricky that here delete plane is meaning delete that plane that you were using as a tool the plane is like a tool that you can shift and you can push around for um, yeah identifying some area that you don't want to if you if you click on delete plane this is just gone you will not have deleted that mesh that you were um, that you were having before and uh, it's just deleting that tool that you created before so don't do that in this way just a moment um, yeah I still can explain how to do it by markers for example I can go here and um, just see
how to do it and this is explained again like nearly always you have really the good useful documentation during the processes here is written hold shift and left mouse button select at least three markers to create a plane while three markers of course if you are just having selected two markers it's a line there is no information for a plane you have to have at least three of them so i'm just going to push shift and selecting three of them that work do downside i can create more of them create plane and like before i can use it for example for deleting another part or just start like it was delete plane create a straight line actually i did never use it but this will be so in this case my first time you will be assisting me right now how to do it so here is written hold shift left mouse and draw a straight line to create a clicker plane so let's do it create a line okay in this case it's for me interesting to see how is created the surface normal that means the line is mm, inside the plane but of course you have not defined orientation but you can do that here over the bars and why not not sure if i will use it so much but maybe i just didn't find it an example where I have to use it so far so that's it actually basically how to process and clean up scans each view have to be processed of course so I'm going to open a new view that is not cleaned anymore and I will have to do all of that again surfaces uh, of planes that you created belong to the view so if I'm going to um, delete them or if I'm going to keep them it doesn't make a difference for the next part because they are not aligned to each other so I have to do it again here I have the same situation like before I can create some surface and delete it and, and that's it actually it's the quite same topic uh, for all of that views and I will show you in the next video how to create a model merging views.